Okay, we're back. Here we are in beautiful sunny Cairo, Egypt. The largest city on the continent of Africa, as well as the largest Arab-speaking city in the entire world. Uh, the call for prayer just came in, so I'm going to just do a quick prayer right now. And this is the mosque I'm staying at. Assalamu alaikum. Nice place to quickly just go ahead and pray. And after that, after the prayer, we're going to go to Al Azhar Park. An awesome spot. Alright, see you guys later. Assalamu alaikum. I tried to get a, a ride over to Al Asar Park and then the ride wouldn't, wouldn't pick me up. This happens sometimes. Sometimes the driver in a major city, sometimes what they do is before they get here, they'll ask you where you're going to kind of gauge whether or not they should pick you up, which is against the rules actually. They're supposed to just show up and then take you where you need to go. And so this guy showed up hesitantly because I didn't want to tell him. And then this is none of his business, honestly. You shouldn't need to know that. Just pick me up. And then also, secondly, when he showed up, he didn't want to uh, pick me up and take me anywhere because he said that the visa doesn't work or the credit card doesn't work. Essentially, he wanted to get paid cash even though I'm using Uber. Strange. Anyways, I'm going to walk across the street and get an actual cab this time. So the thing about Cairo is that... See this tree right here? This guy turning. You can only turn right. There's no left turn. So in order to go that way, you would have to get on a vehicle that goes that way, about almost a kilometer or two, just to make a U-turn and bring you back to the way you want it to go. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cross the street, and this is how people cross the street, they just walk. See this? I almost got crushed. It's alright. Walk, walk with confidence, bro. Walk, walk. See the motorcyclist? Don't get killed. You might die. It's nuts, I'm telling you bro, there's no street lights. If there were street lights, I'm not sure if anybody would respect them. Just gonna walk across with confidence. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck. Walking. Alright. Nice choice of music. How are you? Kif Halkum. Alhamdulillah. Hopefully this goes well. Let's stop in the GPS, my heck. Hey. Hey. One of the things I love about Cairo is that it's just so alive. See, they got the wedding party there. You know, in this day and age when things are just confusing and people don't know what to do, where to go. Seems like uh, life hasn't skipped a beat in Cairo. So, here's my ticket to get in. Cost 25 pounds, 25 Egyptian pounds. And, uh, this guy will take my ticket. Look how beautiful that is right there, huh? Oh my god, it's just gorgeous. I'm so happy I came here. Wallah, I'm so happy I came here. Wallah. It is gorgeous. It doesn't even feel like Cairo. It just seems so much cleaner. You see this guy here? He's got the trash bag. That's what I like about this place. Many places you go to Cairo, there seems to be an inordinate amount of trash on the floor. Here, it's spotless. And that I appreciate very much. Let's take a look at this sign over here. There's a mosque. Mama by the lake on the right. I literally just read it. Masrawi Cafe. Masrah al Gimina. Matam al Qala'a, which means castle. Children's play area over there. The Ubid Wall. So it looks like theaters, restaurants, and kids' area. I'm not interested too much in that. Let's go look at the Ubid Wall. Because I like to do things that are very unique to a specific city. Like you can go to restaurants anytime you want. But how many times are you going to see the Ubid wall? I don't know. Probably never. So, let's go check that out right now. Look at the symmetry right there. Wow. I'm actually, I'm actually really impressed with myself that I was able to pay the local cover, local cover charge, which is only a 25 Egyptian pounds. I don't know if that's like the, the going rate for everybody, but I thought it was higher for foreigners. Look at this cool water. Hey, 
Anyways, I guess my Arabic is getting way better because I can just fool the locals. Call them. It comes to Ashreen and they let me in. So, fantastic. Amazing. Now we're going to go to the Ayyubid wall. Why not? I got to say again, this is actually really beautiful. The grass is literally greener on this side. And I mean like greener than the rest of the city. Not the other side of the park. Bit of a problem. I was looking for the Ayyubid wall and uh, I don't see signs for it anywhere. How about what I was looking for? I don't know. Actually, since we're here at this water area and it's gorgeous, I'm gonna just walk around this watery area. Why not? See that? Garbage bins. Cairo, please start putting garbage bins everywhere, please. Guys, it is crucial to take care of your city. You know, if you don't take care of your city, it's going to look bad. People are not going to, they're going to remember all that stuff. You know, they're going to remember the way you treat them. And they will remember the overall vibes they had. So, an easy way to help with vibes. Assalamu alaikum. Ahlan ya shabab, ahlan ya shabab. This is a camera video. You can see the camera. Yes, it's a camera. Video. You can see it? Yes, now you can see it. The camera. Yes? The camera. The camera? Yes. Oh, it's a lot. A lot, a lot. A lot, a lot. A lot, a lot. Yes, a lot, a lot. A lot, a lot. A lot, a lot. I'm doing a car. Yes? I'm doing a car. I'm doing a YouTube channel. I'm doing a car. I'm doing a car. I'm doing a car. I'm not Arabic, but I don't understand the word. You're in Indonesia? Canada. Canada. Like the Chinese, right? No, I'm not Chinese. Right. Do you know Gidari Ayubi? Gidari Ayubi. Did you hear this? No. Okay. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. فين أجمل مكان أجمل محل في هذا الحديقة؟ وكله جميل. هذا سمك؟ هو سمك فيه؟ في سمك؟ تعالوا نريك السمك. في سمك؟ سمك. بول في. بول في. ما شاء الله. مسموك كريم؟ أحمد. سامي. أحمد سامي. أهلاً بك. Walking this way. All right, guys, thanks. I don't think they heard me, but yeah, Egyptians are very friendly. Look at that, you can just see the rest of the city just like that. Like how many mosques do you see in like this one view? Wow. This is a great view. I'm gonna just take a look. There's like 20 mosques in that view alone. Great photo opportunity. You got a kite way up in the air too. Look at the mosques, wow. Over there, over there, over there. And one day I'm going to go to that castle over there. It's kind of expensive apparently, but maybe that'll be the next journey. will be all the way up there. All the way up there. And maybe I'll put this camera on a kite because there's no drones in this country. Maybe I'll put it in a balloon. I don't know, but i got to figure that out. It's just gorgeous. Photo time. Looks like I found the wall. Oh, there's a North Scenic Lookout too. There's a beautiful wall. I'm gonna go check that out. Asur al Ayubi. Asur al Ayubi. Checking that out right now. Asalaamu Alaikum. Asur al Ayubi? Mamnoa. Mamnoa? Halla Mamnoa? What are you saying? Ah, just. Boss. I'm going to go to Shaman. Afwan? Mamnoa al Shaman. I'm going to go to 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 Shaman. نعم صور اوكي ما في صور لا ستين ادخل مهنا بالمرة 
انا انا لو فتك دخلت انا ممكن اتجازف اه عفوا اوكي بس فتك طيب. خش لو تصاف وصوم بسرعه هو ممنوع في كل يوم في الاسبوع ممكن يفتح في اليوم الجمعه او يوم العائلة. لا كل يوم كل... شغال اوكي آه بص معاك اللي بعد العيد كمان اوكي كلها مفتوحه هنا وهناك خش خش بس مم... خش بسرعه اوكي اوكي ما في صوره خلاص انا خلاص صورة ماشي اوكي اوكي شكرا That was weird He said like I couldn't go in because <laughs> you might get in trouble or something I don't know and then he just let me in I don't know <laughs> You gotta just check out the Ubid wall You know what I mean I paid, I paid my cover I paid my uh, 25 Egyptian pounds and I دفعت to السر I دفعت to المال دفعت to الفلوس فحل ندخل ونرى الصورة الأيوبي Look at this guy. You can just see the hood right there. It's creeping up on this beautiful park. I'm sure those guys can just easily jump over that wall and then boom, boom, they're inside the park. So that's what it is. Is that the wall? Yeah, that's that's the wall. This the wall from the the Sultan al Ayyubi. That's the man who uh, I believe he opened up the city of Jerusalem. The ancient castle walls. If these walls could speak, man. I want to just go over there and touch the wall, honestly. Touch the wall and just... Oh, look at that beautiful mosque and the mosque behind that and the mosque behind that. Oh my God. The city has so much history. There's like 5,000 years of history here. So, the food will be very diverse and, in, and probably mix up a lot of different things. So I'm going to go touch that wall. That castle wall. In fact, I like to take a photo as well. This is special. I feel I'm very happy I took this trip. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Here we go. Three, two, one. Touch the wall. Oh look, there's kids playing soccer behind it. Castle walls, baby. Should I climb it? I don't know. I don't want to climb it. That's might be disrespectful. I might get in trouble. But look at this literally barbed wire here to prevent people from just climbing up into the uh, Alessar Park. A lot of poverty in these areas. Look over there. You can see someone's housing. That's literally someone's housing. They took a roof, put some wood up, climbed it up, and started, you know, living there essentially. So you, you have houses like that built on top of roofs. This is very common in Egypt, in Cairo. Cairo, as you may not know, has a huge housing shortage. There's something called the city of the dead. People live in there, literally graves. Look at this castle wall. Look at this, it just goes on. Wow. See that? Someone's house up there. They just took some wood and just slapped it together and put it on top of the roof and now you live there. Well, I think what I want to do next is I want to go to, um, apparently there's a really cool lookout Above. There's a really cool lookout. I'm gonna go check that out. These kids are always watching me. It's just a nice family friendly atmosphere. Okay, if you know me, you know that I love fresh air. And one of the things I don't like about big cities is bad air. So, so anywhere in Cairo, this has been the freshest air. Other than the Giza pyramids, actually. The Giza pyramids has very fresh air too because probably there's not much around it, it's just a desert you know? and then over here just tons of greenery everywhere so the air is automatically fresh let's get out of here okay dare I drink from this water it's tap water I don't know I'll try it doesn't what working I don't know I don't know I don't know if I should drink it I should leave it alone for now Maybe this kid will drink it. You tell me if he will. Yeah, he left it alone too. <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming it's somewhere uphill, right? If you want to see a lookout, probably on top of stuff. So let's go up the hill. <laughs> Super Captain Obvious, I know. Okay, I realized, okay, my Arabic is not that great that I could just fool the locals. It wasn't like that. It's just that Al-Azhar Park is a well-maintained facility and... 
they've decided to simply charge everybody a base fare that is reasonable. In this case, it's 25 Egyptian pounds. And uh, I'm happy for that. Because that means I don't feel like I'm getting ripped off. And one of the things I don't like about some countries is that once you're going there, they charge one price for foreigners and one price for the locals. I really don't like that. It gives you a bad taste. Um, but this is it. We're, you know what? I think I might just get a drink water just to reward myself. When I get up there, I might get thirsty. And I don't want to. I want to sit up there for a while and enjoy the views. So I'm gonna have some water right now before I get too thirsty. Assalamu alaikum. I like how he didn't try to rip me off. <laughs> Maybe it's because I knew what the price was. Actually, I didn't know the price. I just told him it was five. If you try to buy the same bottle at the pyramids, it'll be ten, which is double the price. But you know what? Honestly, at the pyramids, I think it's worth it. Because how often are you going to be at the pyramids, bro? Seriously. Wow. Walking up to the top. Let's go. A tiny dog in the park. Hilarious. You know, for a Muslim country, Egypt is very chill when it comes to dogs. There's so many dogs everywhere. Nobody cares, apparently. Whatever. I feel like I'm on top of the world. Actually, the castle is actually a higher point than this, but this is pretty high. You walk up this way. Here we are. That restaurant over there looks amazing. It's uh, I think it's called Castle Restaurant in Arabic. And it looks like a castle, it's amazing, it looks gorgeous. And over on this side, I think it's the main thoroughfare, Once you, as soon as you get into the park, this is what you see. Right, you see all those people over there. And I think I'll be exiting the park now. Or I'll just, probably just enjoy myself. No more recording, it's quite busy. It's quite busy. All in all, definitely, definitely check out this park. Very well maintained. Very well worth the entry fee, and um, it's probably one of the most, probably the most beautiful place in all of Cairo, hands down.